everyone and welcome back. I have got some packages here. I started cutting into this one, but I thought I'd open it in front of you now. I'm trying to think if this is actually for my material button earrings that I make or the backs. So I had ordered um, some backs as well as, yeah, these are the backs, which is good. And um, they've come in. So, yay. Um, I've had quite some time off as you probably all noticed I've had lots happening in my real life and that comes first before anything else like family and that so I'm not going to open these couple of packages because they're exactly the same I'll just open here so what I'm going to do is yes I'm making some more of my bee earrings I'll go through these little guys. No, I do not hand paint these. I'll buy these as is. Um, these have been a really, really great seller for me. And I'm going to go through them. Just make sure that there's none of these little guys have got any major defects. I mean, nothing's perfect. And that's what I like about perfect imperfections is a saying that I use. Uh, just for the similar thing is nobody's perfect and nothing is perfect in life. So I'm just turning these all over now and I'm also going to be um, I have my button earrings as well, my floral button earrings. I've got a new design as well for my logo that'll be coming out really really soon. Um, so yeah, so there are my bumblebees. So I have 40 of them there. There's a couple that look a little bit off skew, but I'll deal with that shortly. I just wanted to show you these guys. So here I have 18 different designs and out of each set, I'll go through these and check this each square has enough of the wooden buttons in it so I can make two pairs so these are another ones that I don't actually make they come like this or buy them like this and then I add the backs and that to them just don't have enough time in the day to do all the prints on them plus everything else that I do within those new gifts so let's take a couple of the bees and we'll get right to it and I'll show you how I make them. Now I've got my glue that I use and they do not endorse me so I'm not going to show their label. There's others that I use as well but that's my preferred one. Um, if you see a little shadow coming in and out, this is actually um, my old phone's earbuds. I just, yeah, fixed ones with the jack in the back of it because I actually like listening to YouTube channels or movies while I'm working. Just helps with some background noise and I don't feel like I'm just sitting here having a conversation on my own. So, let's grab... I'll grab the bees first. These are so cute. Um, I do have bee material for them to go with in sets. So there'll be uh, the earring and scrunchy set, set, bleh, earring and scrunchy sets coming back out. Um, and uh, these guys are. This is one that's a little bit. He's not making the grade, as you can see. His head's all over the place and um, it's not even. So I may use them in something else, like maybe my junk journaling when I do that. I haven't done that for a long time either, but I'm getting back into the swing of things. So, and this guy here, 
his head's the face is not even so this is the type that i'm looking for i mean he's a little bit off there but those other ones i can't really match up but these ones most of these seem to be fine so out of the 40 well 40 bees which will make 20 pairs of earrings i've already gone down to it'll be 18 because i have taken three out but the little imperfections are what makes them something like this as well so i do quality control checks on them hang on let me get in a view there we go he's got a major um if the camera will pick it up there we go he's got really really bad um deep crevice in there so that one won't be used so the rest of them look pretty good um yeah so i'll just put these out of the way and then we'll grab two okay now uh generally i scratch up the backs where i'm about to put the glue down because that's just paint on there and i'm just people are probably going oh my god you're using your wedding tool from your cricket i do generally use sandpaper <laughs> um but today I'm using this just to give it a bit more deep. So I just scratched up. Like so. Just do some cross hatching. Why I do this, it helps give the um the glue a nice rough surface to help adhere the earring back to it. And Decolor control checks on my earring backs as well. These are sterling silver, sorry. Um, stainless steel, sorry. So these aren't going to damage your ears. Um, you can see here, I do take hold of the posts. These I use my rubbing alcohol, which this one I use is isocol. Um, and I do that. Um, just before I mount the actual earrings to the earring cards, which I'll be making new ones since I have a new logo. Very similar to my old one. Now you can, if you want to, scratch up the back of the post. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. This just helps with a grip making a stronger bond between the earring back and the actual iron that we're using and i just put i hope this hasn't gone hard and it's not coming out i might have locked it try that you heard that little click so it's empty oh my gosh it's not coming out <laughs> i swore it had more in there okay so i do have to grab um I do use another glue as well, so I'm going to grab that that is in another container. So I'll just momentarily grab that glue and then I'll come back and I'll be right with you.
Alrighty, so I've got the other glue. Um, you can get various glues from either your local hardware store, your local crafting store. Um, this one is a little bit messy, so I'm going to grab my glass coaster. And just sit this here. So I'll have to just clean the top of it off first. So I'm just grabbing some scrap paper out of my waste paper basket. Just clean this off. I think I'm just going to have to scoop in. Yes, so I'm using my Cricut weeding tool again. But I just want to clean this gunky stuff out. As you can see, where it is. Hang on. Where am I? And it's not picking up. Um, it's blurry. But you can see there the gunky bit. There we go. It's just focusing in now. So now I'll grab two backs. I'll do the same as what I've done with the first one. We're just going to scratch. that up like so okay so I've got the two backs the earring back scratched up now I'm going to scratch up the other B I'm just going to place this down on my worktop so I can I don't really want to stab myself I'm scratching the surface up like I said so we can get that really adhered to okay so I got this back scratched up and So, okay, got that done. Now, I do have. Oh, no, that's for the other one. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to squeeze a little bit out of the tube. Um, I don't know if you can see that. That's not a lot. So, I'm just going to dab this here and I'm just going to press the stud line it up as central as possible and the back so I'm just going to move that down a bit and then what I do is I grab my actual jewelry pie tools or tool I should say these ones and what I do is I just press that down firmly it may move around a little bit so you just have to be uber careful and like you can see here this one has so I center that again and I hold it Now this glue that I'm using, it's, um, I should say it's E6000. So what with that is, this will remain tacky for a little bit. And you can see there's a slight ring around there. Oop, slight bit of glue just there. 
So all I do is I just get a tool, scrape that off, and I set that aside. And that one, I, I'll probably um, speed it up with my UV light. Um, just because today is a bit overcast and I'd like to get as many of these out as possible. So I'm just going to grab that. The UV light, all it just does is just harden up. You can see there that it's on it. And then I'll just continue with the earrings. Again, that hasn't centered properly. And as you can see that um, that light's gone off. So that was for 30 seconds. Let's pop this other one under here. I'll bring that first one out. Because what I'll do is the second 30 seconds that I stayed in for, I will turn around and pop both of them under together. So I'm doing two at a time. I can actually probably fit uh, eight under here, but just for this, I'm just putting, I guess, a single one. This is the first one. So let's firm that up. That's not even coming off. And while that one is going, before I put the two of them under, I'll grab some of the backs. Now, some of these, um, because they're manufactured in by machines and they're packed in bulk, sometimes they miss their quality control. So I just check the butterfly back, if you can see that. Where is it going to... This one's fine. So, it's not saying still a surgical steel. So these two are fine that way. And then what I do is I get a spare earring back and I just push the butterfly clip part in. And yep, it's all good. Sorry. That one's fine. And then I'll check the other one. And yes, so I've seen that the UV has gone off. So that one's fine as well. So those two are good to go. And let's pop both of these under here now. And then I'll grab to show you a couple of these I've got like I said there's 18 different designs and I get two earrings out of these 18 design two pairs and so that makes it 36 earrings that I'll get out of these two trays um, I might do these rose ones they're pretty groovy some of them are not to my taste others yeah people love them so So these are the rose earrings, button earrings that I'm going to be making. These will be available. Let's put this on for another 30 seconds. These will be available on my website soon. Yes, my website, I realise, is not as user-friendly as I wanted it. So I'm going to turn around and um, make some changes to it. And you're thinking, if you've been with me for some time, you're probably thinking, oh my gosh, Mary, you have done you know you've done this you've done that you keep changing yes i keep changing it because i'm not happy with it if i'm not happy with it you guys aren't going to be happy with it and um i just want to be able to give you guys something that is a1 a best experience while you're on my website and don't forget it's www 
www.mariesunikegifts.au. So that's mariesunikegifts.au. It's spelled M A R I E S U N I Q U E G I F T S dot A U. And just scratch the backs of those up. Okay. Let's see how well this is set it. And look at that. Isn't <laughs> they're not moving at all. So that's really good. That's one way for me to speed them up. Um custom orders are not happening at the moment. I'm had so much going on and I've had to store some stuff in my work shed which I wasn't um, wanting to do but I had to do it for some period of time but now that's all what was stored is now gone so I'll be getting back out there and setting it up probably I have this a studio side where I can take all my photos and I'll have like a coffee machine out there because my my coffee machine's actually in my kitchen under the bench just looking pretty. So what I'm going to do is come put it out there and yeah. So I'll do the same again as what I did on with my bumblebees. I'm just going to squeeze a little bit of the glue out like that and I'm just going to grab this off here okay I'm probably thinking yeah, when I'm I going to do some actually that's not quite enough for these so a little bit more as you can see there um, we just had our Easter holidays here in Australia and the kids are back to school today, yay! So I can get in and do some more work. Okay, this one is slightly off. I, some probably can't see that, but before I set it, under the UV light, I'm going to just move it ever so slightly. Yep, oh, moved it too far. Then I'll do the back, this other one. Yes, there's a little bit of glue laying over on that one, so. Do this. So I'm just going to hold the post down like that. And post back is the back with a butterfly one. And with my earrings, you do get um, two backs. You'll get the actual butterfly backs, or you'll get these here that I have. And it's silicon back. And now I only have one style. There it is there. So if you prefer not to have the, the metal back on, you get to choose. Oh, excuse me. So this one's slightly off skew as well. I'm just gonna bring that over here. Okay. I'm just going to clean this excess of glue off and I'll just push that out of alignment. Okay, there's that one. I see a lot of people, I mean I've tried it myself, I see a lot of people that put the glue over the actual post and to me that actually Sorry about that, guys. That's my neighbour. Um, with his V8. <laughs> that timing. He was actually started up earlier, just before I started the video. I thought, yay, I'll wait till he finishes so it doesn't come across. So I apologise for that. Can't help what my neighbours do. Anyways, I see some of the glue, them fill the glue on the back of these. Now, these are stainless. Um, 
stainless steel, allergic, uh, surgical steel posts. To me, if you're going to have glue over the back of these posts, it's not going to have that hyperallergenic um, barrier there. So I um, I don't put the glue up over there. I had been thinking about putting like a um, a resin over it, but then it's the same, and I don't want that to happen to my customers. Yeah. So yeah, but that's just that's my that's my um my thoughts on putting glue over the back of the post. It's just not going to be that hyperallergenic. The barrier is gone, so you only have it like for the post. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to leave this under here for a minute, and I will be doing more um vlogs now <laughs> um you will be seeing me in and out of my work shed you'll be there you'll be in here uh, my sewing i've got an area set up um, where my sewing machine and my work area for my cricket and all that and i'll give you another tour later with that, that'll be on another vlog at some different point. I'm going to try and get my vlogs down to half an hour and under. I don't want to lose people's interest. And yeah, so there's lots been happening. I've got some stuff happening for Mother's Day. Um, through my reprint business as well as Marie's new gifts. Um, okay, actually I'll show you that in the next vlog. So let's just see. Oh, that didn't work that well. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to scratch that up. Again, add some more of the E6000 to it. I'll just double check that. that that's not holding either. Are you probably asking yourself why am I showing you my files? Well, nobody's perfect, and like I said, there's perfect imperfections. Perfect, perfect. So scrape that a bit harder. I probably might do this one for a few minutes. And I've got two minutes, less than two minutes left on this vlog because, like I said, I wanted to keep it to a better. Um, to the half an hour. Sorry about the umming. Now, I know a lot of people say, where are your nails and why are your nails all broke? Well, I work on cars and everything, like some of you know. Um, I'm not one of these girly girls, so growing up a country girl and... Yeah. I'll be working on some cars again very soon and that'll be a new vlog as well. I did have a Facebook group, a Facebook page for my burnout vehicle but I took that down. Let's go get this off here. There we go. Send this one up a bit more. That one's starting to set already. Sorry, don't know what happened with the first round of the glue. But anyways, and I've just over the half an hour. 
Let's wipe this glue off the back. Okay, so I'll pop this under my UV light and we'll leave it there for a couple of minutes. Looks like that's shifted on me. I oh know it's just where it is. If there's any uh, glue on the back of the actual earring post, what I'll do is I'll just clean that off and um, there won't be any exclusion of the hypoallergenic part of this post. And yes, I do use as a proper to clean my hands with or hand sanitizer bottles. Polish is shiny. First time, but do do that. I'll have a release of my new logo very shortly on my Facebook page, also my website, my Instagram. I have Twitter, but I don't really use it that much, so it'll be up everywhere as soon as possible. It's just a different concept to the gift box that I already have. Um, I wanted a little bit more professionalism to it. I don't... I really haven't been liking the, um, the original one that I come up with, so... Anyways they'll come up also there's gonna be some changes with some of my product i'm going to be releasing that in not so distant future so you make sure that you come back and visit my website visit my <laughs> My Facebook pages and my Instagram, and we'll go from there. Also, don't forget to visit my YouTube channel and give it a like, subscribe. Um, I'm still, still got a low number of subscribers on there, and for me to do direct lives on YouTube, I need to have over 50 subscribers. So, yeah, you subscribe, you subscribe, you don't, you don't, but it would be appreciated if you could. Okay, let's give this a little bit more time under the UV light and clean his earring backs up and then I will finish it up and get into more. I'm going to be doing some ASMR as well. There we go. So that is now fixed. I can't get that off. Which is really good. So I know you'll know that I need to have the bumblebees under there for two minutes and the floral earrings button earrings for three. Thank you for watching my YouTube vlog and be sure to like and subscribe. Have a great day and be kind to everyone everywhere and I'll see you next time around. Bye for now.